All right, tech world, strap in because today's spotlight is shining brightly on Super Microcomputer. Boy, do we have a roller coaster for you. From tantalizing CEO letters to shareholder class actions, Super Micro's been shaking up the NASDAQ with full on drama. Grab your popcorn and let's dive in. First up, Super Microcomputer's CEO Charles Liang took to the virtual stage to address concerns that have been buzzing around like tech savvy mosquitoes. Recently, there were two major points causing jitters among investors the delayed filing of the company's annual report and a scorching short seller report from Hindenburg Research. Liang penned an open letter to Supermicro's customers and partners, clarifying that these hiccups don't imperil their core business operations or ability to innovate. According to Liang, the accusations haven't thrown any wrenches into their gears. They're still cranking out cutting-edge IT solutions at warp speed. He also confidently rebutted the Hindenburg report, branding it as full of false or inaccurate statements. Spicy stuff, right? Investors seem to be giving Liang a thumbs up, with SMCI shares trading 2.37% higher, now sitting at $4.48.06. But hold your horses, because the stock is still chilling below its 50-day moving average of $707.78. Analysts are divided like a pizza on Super Bowl Sunday. Wall Street forecasts give SMCI a 12-month price target averaging $738.02. Some are super optimistic, with highs of $1,300, while others are cautious, with lows of $325. Given SMCI's stock has risen 59.7% year-to-date, there could be more room for growth. And while the CEO letter offered some much-needed reassurance, investors shouldn't be too hasty. Analytical heads must dive into every inch of sniffable data to see where this is headed. News like this doesn't just disappear into the cloud, after all. Slide over to part two of our Supermicro extravaganza. Supermicro Computer is also feeling the heat from the legal stove with a freshly baked class action lawsuit, courtesy of Robbins LLP. These lawyers aren't messing around. They've thrown allegations from here to Narnia, asserting that Supermicro might have been a bit too creative with its accounting. The claims? They overreported sales, underreported expenses, rehired execs from previous accounting scandals, maintained an under the radar number of related parties, and somehow didn't stop exporting to restricted areas during the Russia Ukraine conflict. Legal thriller, anyone? Hindenburg Research blew the whistle page style, claiming a seismic catalog of accounting red flags and secretive business dealings on August 27, 2024. This revelation saw SMCI shares nosedive 21.6% in two days, from 562.51 to 443.49. It was like the financial equivalent of finding out Bitcoin isn't accepted at your local coffee shop. Legal Eagles who bought Super Micro shares between August 10, 2021 and August 26, 2024 are prepping their briefcases to potentially co-lead the charge before the court's October 29, 2024 deadline. With Robbins LLP promising to only get paid if they win, this legal saga guarantees it'll be juicier than an episode of Suits. So that wraps it up for Super Micro. Keep your eyes peeled for further twists and turns because something tells me this wild ride is far from over. That's it for today's thrilling tech popcorn. Catch you on the next one. No curtain call necessary. Thanks for watching to the end. Remember, this is just one story from our full daily show, which includes all the other news and an analysis of the day's tech market activity. If you found this video interesting or insightful, then please like, subscribe, and share it with others. Your support is greatly appreciated. Catch you later.